Hey folks, Joseph Isabora here. Know something different now? <laughs> yep. I just uh, fixed up my room. Now I got a new haircut. And not only that, but I got a brand new chair that I'm sitting on. <laughs> As you can see. Yeah, along with my jacket. <laughs> which is also brand new too. Wow. <laughs> So now I can feel more comfortable again. And the main reason why I was doing that is because my old chair got broken. Yeah, it started to fall apart. It broke into pieces, so we got rid of it. And also, we had to move a lot of stuff. So unfortunately, all my DVDs, Blu-rays, and all this other stuff are actually right on the corner, as you can see. Yeah. <laughs> Everywhere around. So it's looking neat so far. <clears throat> okay, let's just see if I can hold it there. And I also finished the finals. I actually got an A on my astronomy online class 89.14 percent not bad not bad at all and I, I did pretty well at my cycling class yeah I just had to take a survey so far so good <laughs> well now I'm gonna get ready for my review because I only saw this movie a few weeks ago while I was still doing my work in order for me to to pass the grade and I'm being very appropriate to wear the shirt because I had the shirt for two years I'm about to review for Ragnarok which is the third sequel to the Forest series and it's also the 17th installment in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So this time they went for a different approach. Stars Chris Hemsworth, Tom Hiddleston, Kate Blanchett, Aris Alba, Jeff Goldblum, Tessa Thompson, Carl Urban, Mark Ruffalo, and Anthony Hopkins. It's written by Eric Pearson, Craig Cow and Christopher Yotes, which is based on the comic by Stan Lee, Larry Lieber, and Jack Kirby, and is directed by Taka Waititi. The movie begins after the Battle of Sokovia two years ago. Four, who was played by Chris Hemsworth, had begun to search for the Affinity Stones and wants to be imprisoned by a fire demon named Solter. Solter suddenly reveals that Thor's father, Olden, who is played by Anthony Hopkins, is no longer around in Asgard, and that soon his realm is being destroyed by Regorok. Once Solter unites with his crown, with eternal flame, burning Olden's bolt, Thor suddenly defeats Solter, taking his crown, and believing that he prevented Regorok. So Thor had came to Asgard to find his brother Loki, who's being disguised as Olden, and he's played by Tom Hiddleston. He forces Loki to find their father with directions from Stephen Strange, you know, Dr. Stephen Strange, who's played by Benedict Cumberbatch, yep, a cameo role, as you may last saw Thor, you know, with uh, Stephen Strange. If you saw the movie uh, Doctor Strange in the post credits, yeah. maybe someday I might review uh, Doctor Strange. Yeah, maybe I might pick this up if I get a chance because I did saw the film in theaters last year. Anyway, Doctor Strange had located Olden in Norway, which he actually explains to Ford that he's dying, and then we soon learn that Thor actually has a sister of a firstborn child named Hela, who's played by Kate Blanchett. 
Hard to believe, though, because it just seems like Forge just always gets his evil siblings. Yeah, I mean, his brother Loki is, is no one to be trusted, but I know he's very sinister. And now he gets one that's even worse. <laughs> yeah, go figure. Well, anyway, Hela had escaped from prison, was being sealed. He was also the leader of Asgard's um, armies and had conquered the Nine Whelm with Olden and been imprisoned for being written out completely. Uh, Olden didn't want her to be membered by, so that explains it. So then when, when Hela came by, released from her imprisonment, she destroys Thor's hammer, and when Thor and Loki attempt to flee through the Bridfrost Bridge, she pursues them and forces them out into space to die. So Hela arrives at Asgard, destroying the entire army and killing all the warriors, and suddenly um, started to work with a janitor named uh, Scarge, who's played by Kyle Urban, using him as her executioner. But meanwhile, Force suddenly crashes into a planet called Subcar, which is being run by the Grandmaster, who's played by Jeff Goldblum. It's great to see him. Which, apparently, he was already being captured by his uh, bodyguard, named Scrapper 142, also known as Badaki, who's played by Tessa Thompson, who's basically a drunken body hunter. Yeah, because he drinks a lot. <laughs> and um, does what she, whatever she does. <laughs> Suddenly, um, Grandmaster had offered Ford to compete in his contest of champions. Yeah, I guess this is their own battle right here where suddenly he wants up fighting against, you guessed it, Hulk, who's played by Mark Ruffalo. So they, this was like a big battle between the two. <laughs> and he's like very excited because they were together as part of the Avengers. So apparently, Thor suddenly almost defeated uh, Hulk. But unfortunately, Grandmaster sabotaged the fight, so they weren't even so sure who won. <laughs> but at this point, it might have been Four that won the, the war. We also found out that um, Four also has a, an electrical um, device that's stuck on his neck, which is actually uh, one of those uh, electrical shockers that... Uh, that Scrapper 142, yeah, Badaki, actually started to use because <laughs> she had the remote so he can control him and that's where he became so powerful later on and yeah, that's when we noticed his eyes uh, were glowing with a lot of electrical bolts here <laughs> so then Force's plan was to take Hulk into the plane that's being abandoned somewhere that's what we found out that uh, that uh, there was a holographic uh, message from Natasha Romanoff, who's played by Scarlett Johansson, another cameo. Where unfortunately they they try to find a way to start the plane, but Hulk suddenly started smashing this entire plane, <laughs> you know, trying to figure out the password so they could start. But yeah. But they did the best they could, and they soon um, they left together along with Ubataki to to battle one of uh, Grandmaster's uh, fighters, and so that way they can escape all the way straight to Asgard where it's already being destroyed. So it's up to four, along with Loki and and all of his crew to stop Hela from taking over and destroying Asgard and killing all of, of the people who live there and I know I'm, I'm, I'm having some trouble but that's okay 
I mean, I've been really tired all day and all week, so that's what happens, you know, when I, when I stutter. But I really did enjoy the movie. Um, it's actually a lot better than I thought. It was, it's actually one of the best sequels I've ever seen. In fact, it's even better than The Dark World that I saw. Even though I did enjoy the film uh, back in 2013, I still do. But it definitely is uh, one of the better sequels so far. It has a bit of a um, 80s feel to it, like something out of uh, Flash Gordon or something like that. Yeah, because when I saw the trailer for this movie, I'm thinking to myself, they're probably going to end up playing the Flash Gordon theme song by Queen. <laughs> so it feels like, whoa. They really went there too, but only this time it's four. <laughs> and Chris Hemsworth uh, definitely did a great job once again as four. So he goes around battling and trying to save Asgard, but unfortunately he tried as hard as he could. But in fact, that he lost his hammer, which I know that sucks, but nevertheless, he still continued to go on. But even when he now has a haircut. <laughs> okay. Uh, Tom Hiddleston is as good as ever. You know, playing the always sinister Loki, you know, Four's brother. But this time he's working together again with Four. No matter what. <laughs> yeah. That's a great cast right there, too. Um, it's great to see Anthony Hopkins uh, once again as Olden. I mean, it's just sad that we begin to find out what happened to him at the end. And, but soon they moved on. Um, Kate Blanchett, uh, very powerful as Hela. Surprisingly, a very good villain, too. A yeah, very good villain. This and So she really took over the entire... Asgard as we know it. And Carl Urban was very good too. A Scorch. I mean it's hard to believe that this is the same man who's been known for for playing Dread and all his other characters that he has done. He's a very underrated actor. Yeah. Um Love the, the look of the film. It definitely has that perfect feel to it once uh, he was in space. It just all that flashy lights that they had and all the interesting special effects that they used, all the CGI, all of that that's in the mix. Perfect. And I really love the humor that this movie really went for. You know, they, they had a lot of <laughs> a lot of um, interesting dialogue that they used and uh, especially some of the funny moments with Four and, and Loki, so they're all there. And even scenes with uh, Four and the Hulk, <laughs> even before he winds up becoming Bruce Banner. Later on, yeah, because he actually transforms back to himself after he destroyed, uh, well, basically trying to accidentally destroy it. Um, the Avengers plane that was uh, run by Tony Stark. <laughs> yeah, it's like four was like saying, "Damn it, Stark!" <laughs> yeah. Also, some great uh, characters that they have that went around. Yeah, they had they had all these monsters to team up and they help them. It was really cool. Um. <laughs> Um, there's a lot of memorable scenes here and there um, that I could think of, uh, especially scenes with Bataki, you know, because she drinks a lot, mostly because we found out that she was once uh, in battle with uh, Hela a long time ago. She was actually a warrior, and um, she was uh, in battle, well, with her... Uh, Pegasus, fly it around. Yeah, it's a great movie. So far, so good. It's uh, another great uh, four film in, in the series. Uh, I really enjoyed four. It's 
Well done. And by the way, the music was also done by uh, Mark Mutterbodge, who's been known for being the lead singer of Devo. So it definitely has all the the 80s style feel to it with all the synthesizers. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. Really enjoyed it. Um, highly recommend it. Especially if you love 4. <laughs> yeah. Because it's definitely the best of the series. Um, and part of the, the MCU Marvel Cinematic Universe. So. It's also uh, one of the highest grossing films uh, to date so far. And I'm glad to see it's doing so well at the box office. It's actually beating uh, Wonder Woman. Yeah, another uh, comic book. Uh, only this time it's from DC. Yeah, as we know it. Wow. But anyway, check this movie out. Um, you'll love it. So anyway, I give For Regorock five stars. I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.